Cinemachine 3 Dolly coming up. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone, this is Omar Balfaki and welcome to my game development and filmmaking channel. In this tutorial, we'll take a look at Cinemachine 3 Dolly cameras. In the past, I've created a Cinemachine Dolly tutorial, but that was for a playable character and with Cinemachine 2. Now we're implementing Cinemachine 3 and the timeline. So let's start working with that. So first thing first, you need to have Cinemachine 3 and Splines installed. If you have never used either of them, you can either watch my Cinemachine 3 getting started video or my Splines tutorial. I'll leave their links in the description below. So to start creating a dolly camera, simply we right click and then Cinemachine, just like the normal Cinemachine camera, but then we have dolly camera with spline. So let's select that. And now it has created our dolly cam. So let's just call it dolly cine cam. And it has created a spline too. So it is really far away. I'm just gonna grab them here. So just control shift F or command shift F on Mac to drag it to the view. And now let's see the camera. The camera is simply a normal Cinemachine camera but has two components added. For the position control, the spline dolly is the one controlling it. And for the rotation, it's a rotation composer. So it needs a look at target. I can just disable that for now. So we can just rotate it as we wish. And I'm just gonna reset its rotation. And then here we have the spline. To edit the spline, this is Unity 6, so maybe it might be different on other versions, but in Unity 6, you will find it here on the left side. So I'm gonna select one of them, press F, and we see them closer. There are just two of them here. So once we select them, we can just edit them like any object. We can use the W to move around to move it around. And let's make a simple path that moves from, from this side to the left side. And I'm gonna reset the rotation as well. And I'm gonna select the camera and make it look at, the, uh, at this side. For the position, to position the camera, we have three options, distance, normalized, and not. So let's just add few more to explain them freely. To add more spline points, I'm gonna select the dolly spline here, and then I'm gonna go edit them to move them around. And I can add more by clicking create spline. I can start from whatever point I wanna start from, and go backward, and then backward again, and hit escape. Now we have them here. Let's pull it up. Now we can explain each one of them simply. First we have distance, and it's obvious it uses the distance by units, so it tries to move it, based on whatever distance we have. So even if I change the spline, it shouldn't be affected that much. It's almost in the same place. So I'm just gonna undo that. And now, what about normalized? Normalized is just a percentage of the entire path. It normalizes the value from its original distance to um, having a range from zero to one. So zero, would mean the first point and one is the last one. And point five will be the middle. So it just a percentage. So if I say point eight and I modify the dolly, put it anywhere far away like this, and look where we have our camera. It's been dragged to the 80% or point eight normalized value. So it is affected by the spline length. I'm just gonna undo that. And now the last one. The knot is basically like an index. How many of these we have? One, two, 
three, four, I think. So if I increase it to one, it will bring it here, which is the second one. And two would bring us to the third because it's an index, it starts from zero. And three is going to be the last. And here we have the spline offset. We can make it on top of the spline. For instance, if the spline was on top of the surface directly, just like a railroad, we can have some offset to uh, pull the camera a little bit up. And then we have the camera rotation. Default would do nothing. Spline, it will follow the path just like a roller coaster. And then we have spline no roll. So it won't affect the Z rotation. So it's more of a fly through like a drone of some sort without rolling the uh, camera in follow target and follow target no roll it's going to be similar but with having a target to look at so for now i'm just going to assign it to default and then here automatic dolly if we have a target it will automatically move the camera towards that target for now i'm just going to animate the camera so let's go to our timeline and I'm going to lock it in and I'm going to select the camera just reset its rotation again okay cool now it's looking here and let's start animating it let's use the normalized value and we're going to start from the end it has created a keyframe here and let's go to uh, four seconds set it to zero to go back to the first point so if we hit play now okay cool it's pretty fast but we will modify that now another thing we want to animate is the rotation of the camera so I'm gonna go right click add key okay to go to the last keyframe I like to double click here and open the animation window and click the next keyframe icon here and I'm just gonna animate the camera to look at the uh, ships in this side and in the first frame I want the camera to look more at the uh, ships to have more coverage here and okay that is getting better so i'm just gonna pull the keyframes a little bit far 11 seconds so let's hit play and see what do we have so far okay that is good so i'm gonna start modifying the spline a little bit for another shot okay so like this and i'm just gonna hit delete so like this one delete as well i just want to have a short path starts from this side probably and a little bit up and then we're gonna go down just a simple spline I'm going to select something else and select it back again to move the entire dolly a little bit down. Now, since we used a normalized value, it will try to animate within that new spline. So I'm just going to move the spline around. And start from the top and go into the bottom here and I'm gonna double click here and I'm just gonna delete the rotation animation and I'm gonna add another animation on top of that I just want to have this ship moving from one side to the other 
So we'll add it here as an animation. Start moving it here. And maybe like that. And now we want the camera to look at the uh, ship automatically. So I'm going to select the Dolly Cinecam again. And we're going to use the rotation control with the rotation composer. And I'm going to add this ship as the target. I'm just going to lock it. And then drag it here. So now we can see that it's getting much more interesting with a little bit of longer lens. Maybe even animate that from 30. And at the end, just go to the last keyframe and I'm going to assign it to 50. And just drag it down like this. Okay. And again, push it to 16. And the ship would still move slower. Hit save. And let's see what we have so far. I'm just going to unlock it again. Full screen, play, and enjoy. This is exciting. You can do a lot with Cinemachine and Unity's timeline, and you can create short films or cutscenes with it. And if you're interested in this kind of things, you can check out my Unity Filmmaking 101 course, where we go through all of these things step by step from an idea, storyboarding it, into making an actual one minute short film, voiceover, a custom composed music, and much more. You can check it out in the description and you can get the first five lessons for free. So that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you like it and uh, I really wish you all the best. This is Omar Balfaki. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.